Hi, my name's Alex Walford. I'm a solutions engineer at Streamsets, and um, I thought it would be good to take a quick look at how to extend the functionality of Streamsets Data Collector using scripting processes and custom stages. And you use these things when the standard origins, destinations, processes, and executors don't do what you need them to do. So here's a pipeline. We're reading photos from a bucket in S3 and extracting metadata from those. And this is using Drew Noakes' metadata extractor. So hidden in a photograph, there's something called uh, extra information. And this contains all kinds of stuff like you know, the direction that the camera was pointing, the uh, GPS coordinates, the shutter speed and aperture and all that uh, type of stuff. In this pipeline, we have a uh, metadata extractor custom stage. And we also have a scripting processor to convert the longitude latitude. I'll, I'll show you in a second. So we'll start off by, by uploading a few photos. Um, to this S3 bucket. So I'm just going to drop those on here, hit upload. And why, while, did I get that? Upload? Yeah, so while those are uploading, I'm going to take a snapshot. Uh, we have a snapshot, I'm just going to look at this, this guy here. So we have a snapshot of some photos coming through here. So as I click on the stages, I can see the input and output. So this first stage, I can see there's only an output. And this is the whole file format. Now we have this custom stage here. And what this custom stage has done, it's um, augmented the uh, data with this uh, extra info here. So if we were to look at the GPS coordinates, for example, it's extracted these um, from, the, from the photo. And you can see in this case, this, this is a string. And it's in a, not a particularly friendly format. It has uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. That's uh, a little bit difficult to, to deal with if you want to plot that on a map or something. It's, it's usually you would, you would want to double. This scripting processor is going to convert that uh, degrees, hours, minutes, second into a double long lat. Um, which is easy to plot on a graph and calculate distances with and all that kind of stuff. And then, and then we're basically just going to publish this to a Kinesis topic. Um, so let's have a quick look at, at these things. Um, so I'm going to stop this pipeline. So the first thing, we have this metadata extractor. And this is a custom stage. And uh, I, I started to write this in, in uh, Jython. I was going to use just a scripting processor. And then it turned out that my friend Pat had, uh, had already figured out how to do this in Java. And I, I kind of cheated and cut and pasted his code. Well, I was going to I was going to write it from scratch. But what's the point if uh, someone's already done the heavy lifting for you? To create a custom stage, you there's a Maven archetype. You execute this Maven generate function, which um, is there's a link to this in the tutorial, which I, I will include in the notes. It stubs out uh, uh, the stage for you. And then basically, all you've got to do is add the, the custom logic, which is this uh, method right here, process. And so this is all I had to do is, is put a little bit of code in here and then build the jar. When I work with custom stages, just so I can iterate quickly, I, I usually have a little Ansible script to deploy them. So this is going to build the jars, wipe out the existing stuff, copy the new jars, and then restart data collector. And then that custom stage will be available. I have a custom stage here. It's extracting the metadata. And, it, and then the next uh, stage I've got here is a Jython evaluator. DMS is degrees, minutes, and seconds to, to decimal. I just found this online, a little Python example. So I, I have this function here. Now these custom evaluators, they, they have uh, an initialization script, a place where you process the records, and, and a destructor. A typical example of this, you might have a connection. You might open a connection to a, a database or something like that. Then you then you'd use that connection to iterate through the records, and then you'd close it afterwards. So that's why you have these different um, sections here. But I don't need to to uh, initialize or destroy anything afterwards. I just need to process the records. So I have a little function here, and then I'm going to loop over the records now. 
I can pull out bits of the, the record using this path here. So I have these this function, this SDC functions get field null. So I can take a record, pull out this path, and uh, assign it to a variable. And then the record itself has uh, the values in it, or a dictionary, and I can assign values to that dictionary using the key value uh, notation here. You know, assigning the the variable longitude and giving it the converted longitude value uh, from that string that has degrees, minutes, and seconds. That's what I wanted to cover. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.